Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Indiana and today is Valentine's Day. And I thought what better way to start off my channel in the new year if not doing Valentine's Day makeup. Cause if you don't know, Valentine's Day is my favorite holiday. And I always go all out because everyone around me knows pink is my color. So if you're new to my channel, hi, subscribe. Um, put your post notifications on because I <laughs> barely post at this point. Um, but I do plan on being more active soon because it is February, which is closer to May, and I graduate this year. So I can be more consistent on my channel as soon as I'm done with high school. I got this look off TikTok. I'll link it in my description down below so you guys can follow her and see where my inspiration was because you should always give credit where it's due. Um, it's like a heart. I don't know if you can tell. It's a heart. So I wanted to bring back fun eyeshadow because even though last year I did something cute, it was kind of simple. So I'm trying to spice it up. We're going to do something a little dramatic and profesh because, you know, I'm an MUA now. Um, I'm so sorry if the lighting is bad. My camera, I need a new camera. So that's on my bucket list this year is to get a new camera. But um, I did this whole eye look using the juvia's place culture palette literally love it so much um so first i'm gonna start by using the morphe m456 brush it looks like this and i'm using kobo it's this dark pink shade but it's also like a hot pink and i'm gonna use that to start making the outline of the heart i'm using like <laughs> not using i'm making the heart in the inner corner of my eye so I just basically like since this is round I just go uh uh like slant it to make the shape so I'm just gonna bring the excess um off the brush onto my lid I should have did this eye off camera and not the other way around because this eye in me we have beef it's just what it is but anyways i'm gonna use benny and calabari so it's like this light pink and then it's also a light pink but it's like kind of peachy and more vibrant so i'm gonna go in with the benny first and then the calabari and then back in with the benny and i'm using my morphe m562 brush and i'm going to what is it called I'm going to diffuse that dark pink so that everything looks more blended and I'm also going to bring that onto my lid because these two colors are what's going to be my lid color so I'm already setting that up to be there. I'm going to go in with my LA Girl Pro Concealer, it's just the white one and my Morphe M213 brush and I'm using white because I feel like every time I cut my crease with like my normal concealer shade you can't really differentiate like where it was cut so i just started using white so i'm going to basically outline my heart but leave a little bit of the color peeking through And to check if your heart is like forming, you can just lift your head up. So you can see I still need to kind of make it more round. Also, look at my cute mirror. Is it a little kitty? Oh, wait, look, it's you guys. I also got me a pink case to go around my camera now. Isn't it so cute? Oh my God, that makes the lighting so good. Anyways, <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to share that because it's so cute. Um, So we're almost done. I just need to make it more round. And I like to use... I like to use a fluffy brush at first just to know where I should put it and then I like to wet the next brush with setting spray I use the milk one and then I go in on the lid so that it sticks more I'm gonna use a flat brush I'm gonna take Ijoa it's like a really nice gold but it's kind of silver it's like really shimmery so I'm just gonna, you can, it's like so shimmery, it's so pretty. And we're gonna put that 
right where the heart is just to make the glitter pop more i'm going to use my elf um liquid eyeshadow and pinky swear i'm just going to put it on my lid and then use the same flat brush to like move it around because it's very like it's not like once you put it on then it like immediately dries down like you can move it to any placement you want and it just gives it an extra pop quickly put more of that dark pink to connect it to the outline that we made in our crease so that everything transitions well so it's like it's not just light pink <laughs> it's like light pink back to dark pink i'm gonna use my nyx epic wear waterproof mascara and brown i love these eyeliners by nyx but they really are waterproof like even when i've been using my micellar water it takes a while to get it off so i'm just gonna do a liner like i did on this side that is how i did my heart <laughs> eyeshadow i'll be back after i've done my base and we can finish the eye together and you know do some girly things like some highlight my lip combo but that's pretty much the gist the gist of what i did to achieve this heart eyeshadow for valentine's day i'll be back with my base i want to talk to you guys about the setting powder it's the charlotte tilbury uh airbrush flawless flawless finish i have the shade three tan but once i tried the charlotte one that everyone was talking about i realized it actually deserves the hype around it i don't know about any of her other products like i love her blush but it's not like my favorite but this is definitely really good and i recommend it to anyone who's oily and even if you're dry i feel like this is good for you because it'll help your makeup last for a long time without you having to touch it up as much and i like my under eyes crease a lot and this like really helps with that hey guys i finished my base and i'm just baking i'm gonna do my highlighter with you guys we're basically just doing all the glitter parts ah <laughs> i meant to spray the brushes not my face <laughs> anyways oh also on my eyebrows guys i used the morphe Morphe micro brow, my, micro brow pencil in mocha. I love it so much. Anyways, before I got shot, um, I was gonna say while the brushes are like setting, you know, getting the product out, ooey and gooey. This is the REM Beauty. It's the metallic gel eyeshadow and quality time. It's a really pretty pink color. I'm gonna put it in my inner tear ducts to do my little liner thing I like to do oh my god it literally matches perfectly with the eyeshadow that's crazy I have filmed when I did my senior picture day I obviously didn't upload it to my channel but I still have the footage but I had did like this inner tear ducts but with gold and then like a couple days after I saw that my I wouldn't really call her a friend <laughs> No, no offense to her just like we don't really talk that much so like acquaintance she like did it and she really looked so pretty and i was just like that like really warmed my heart because it was like dang i'm like kind of influential because like she complimented me on it and then she was like i'm gonna try it out and she literally looked so pretty with it so i'm just like she's been wearing it like the times that i see her she's been wearing it so i feel like i helped her find something that makes her feel confident and I don't know, it just made me feel good. So like if you guys like one of the makeup looks I do, just try it. Because you might add your own twist on it, which is what I usually do when I recreate people's looks. And I find something that I love to do and I continue doing it. I'm going to use my, for my nose, we're going to do Fenty Hustle Baby and Fenty Miss Mimosa Sunrise. So I'm going to go on with my Fenty Hustle Baby. It's giving out. Um, and then the sunrise which looks like this and we're gonna put it on the tip of my nose and down the bridge cheekbone highlight i'm gonna use my child what a brat by fincy 
and I'm also going to use the other side of this duo which is Sangria Sunset and it's like a purple and I'm just going to put that on the high point of my cheek. very subtle but if i turn wow this is a morphe 164 brush um i use a different morphe brush but i've been using this one recently because it like goes right on the placement i want because sometimes my highlighter goes all the way down and i don't like how that is because my cheeks are kind of like like chubby so like i don't really i can't really see my exact like cheekbone to where to put the highlighter and then it looks kind of harsh because i legitimately placed it on my skin i'm gonna lie to you i just take a random brush that looks clean that day <laughs> and rub it into my skin a bit so it looks less harsh i've honestly been rocking no lashes no mascara like i just kind of love it but i'm gonna use the color pop cream gel liner in white and i love doing white again i have re found my love for it and it makes me look like a doll so we're gonna put that in my waterline see how it just brightens my eye up but don't worry it looks a little crazy because my lower lash line so i'm gonna put my essence lash mascara um, I'll be back because I I genuinely don't know what lip combo I'm going to do. So I'll just be back with whatever I come up with. And that'll be the end of this video. So I use a lot of products, but I really want to put you guys on because I've never done like a light pink brown look that usually girls with my complexion do. I use the LA Girl eyeliner pencil in brown as a lip liner. I use the NYX uh, Urban Cafe lip liner. I use R.A.M. Beauty, um, Liquid Lipstick, Doll Face, Juvia's Place, Lip Gloss, and Kiss Me, Kylie Cosmetics, High Gloss, and Daddy's Girl. So, these are all the products I used. Here is my Valentine's Day OOTD. On the ears, they're dangly and cute. They are from Forever 21. My necklace is Every Jewels. It says, take care with the little diamond. This top is from Depop, but it is Rampage. Um, this skirt is Shein. I got it a while ago. It's white. And then these shoes are from a store called Rainbow in the mall. So here's the outfit. And my rings are from Every Jewels and Forever 21. Here is the final makeup. We have a heart with some liner. I didn't add lashes or do my mascara on the top because I just haven't been doing that recently and I didn't feel the need to. I feel like you can see the eyeshadow really well this way. But I hope you guys learned something. I hope I helped make your Valentine's Day better if you have nothing going on. And um, yeah, I'm back on YouTube. I have missed posting. I'm gonna try to be consistent. Um, remember to be kind to your mind, body, and soul. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.